group of boys, Jack, Dick, and Paul. He wanted to belong to that particular gang, to speak their language. Hi, I'm Bella Quiz today, but uh, I don't think it'll be too rough. You know, I'd like to get a hey, minus donut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose these are not even half over. And he's Mike last felt year. left out. But worse than that, Mike worried so much about the gang that he missed many chances to make other friends. Oh, Mike. Oh, hi, Eddie. Oh, here's the book I borrowed from you. It helped a lot. Thanks. Okay. Now, Eddie, for example. Eddie took his friends as he found them. He knew that particular gang, too, but... But our story is about Mike. And Mike felt left out. Now, Mike wasn't one to give up easily. He took every opportunity to try to get into the gang. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. That's pretty good. The French jacket. Oh, that's not the French jacket. But it was no use. It seemed the gang was always around, at the soda fountain with their dates, sharing some special private fun. Mike kept on thinking of the gang and forgetting anyone else who might be his friend. After a time, the others gave up with Mike. Jack and Dick and Paul and their dates. Oh, hi, Mike. Uh, hi, fellas. And Bill and, of course, Gene and Paul Moore. Yes, Mike really was left out. Well, that day in gym class, Mike made one more attempt to get in the gang. here one. Come on. Pretty close friends, aren't they? Too close. Those guys don't want anybody except themselves. Well, what a conceited bunch. You know, Mike, it isn't just Dick and Jack and Paul. A lot of folks do the same thing. A lot of teenagers, especially. Because this is the age when it's most important to feel that you belong, have friends. And folks are sometimes so afraid of being left out that they get together in little cliques and shut the door. It's rather an immature reaction, but it's typical. Yeah, but it's rough on the guys that are left out. Yes, it is. And a great many people do feel left out. Well, what can they do? What can I do? You're a level-headed boy, Mike. Half your problem is solved when you ask that question. But what? How can I... You're going to do something about it. You're going to take the responsibility. That's good. Now, let's think about what people do when they feel left out. You can think of a lot of examples. One person may simply force his way into the group, as far as he's concerned, that is. He's in for a horrible snubbing, though, if the group won't accept him. Well, that doesn't work, busting in. I know that. Another left out may form a group of his own and try to make it still more exclusive, still more snobbish than the first. Someone else may feel that she's a social failure and give up trying to have friends at all.
still another may try to attract the notice of others by exaggerated dress or manner. And still another may simply forget about the group. He'll make friends with individuals as he finds them, whether they're in the group or not. And I suppose there are a lot of other ways of reacting when you feel left out. Oh, I can see which one you think is best, though. But which one do you think is best? Think it over, Mike. Come to some decisions about what you're going to do. If you let that left out feeling throw you, you'll pick the wrong answers. Well, there's good advice. If you feel left out, forget about the gang. Wake up to your opportunities of making friends with individuals. It isn't easy to change your whole attitude, especially when you can't help running into the clique from time to time. There they are, and here you are. Well? Say, who's that, sitting alone? No harm in going over getting acquainted. Hi, I'm Mike Hanlon. Jerry Mortensen. Say, I've seen you around. You own a motorbike, don't you? Yeah, but it isn't running. What's the matter, ignition trouble? Well, I don't know. Say, do you know anything about, I mean, uh, can you fix uh... I like to tinker around with them. Well, say, that's swell. How's about coming over, say, Saturday? Sure. Afternoon? That'd yeah, that'd be great. Well, perhaps it isn't always quite so easy to make a new friend. But just a little effort can bring you friends. And then you begin to forget about feeling left out. But one friend isn't enough. Yes, you can make friends without joining a clique. Hi, Grace. Can I have a ticket, please? One? Yes, yeah, one. All right. Thank you. Oh, Mike, will you come here, please? Hi, Grace. How's business? Oh, pretty good. I've got to go to lunch. Could you take over the ticket sales for me? Oh, sure. Wait till I get the fellas. I'll be right back. The fellas? Could that mean a new clique? Thanks, Alan. Hey. Hi, Mike. Oh, hi, Coach. Hey, fellas, come here a minute. How are things going? Swell, great. Everything's just wonderful. Yeah. So I see. And I tried her out last night, this new carburetor. Found my bike like, boy, I, I revved her up and zoomed around the corner. I set the carburetor just right for that extra pickup. Ah, uh, you don't know the half of it. Spark plugs I got in that generator, I'll race you from a dead start any time. You're on. Get a load of Mike. Just a minute. How many, Paul? Two, please. That's right. Don't lock yourself up in a new clique. Make friends with individuals. There will be many opportunities if you look for them. Well, Mike is no longer the loneliest boy in school. But has he really gotten over feeling left out of the clique? Okay. <laughs> Wasn't the play wonderful, though? Artie sure is a ham, isn't he? Oh, no, I think he's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Did they get on your nerves the way they do mine? Oh, you mean, I don't know. <laughs> they could have asked us along. They knew we were going. Well, <laughs> you can't get four couples in one car. Oh, it's not that at all. They're just too stuck up. Well, it doesn't matter. Besides, uh, I like to walk. I'm with the right company. <laughs> but uh, to get back to the play, Hi, what... Hi, kids. What do you have? Would you like a hamburger? I think so. 
You know, Mike is on the way to social maturity. He's no longer concerned about the gang. He's concentrating on individuals, having a good time. Mike will get into activities and projects where he'll be doing worthwhile things, where he'll feel he belongs. He'll spend some of his time with some friends and some time with other friends. And he'll take every opportunity to make new friends. Oh, hi, Mike. Hi, Eddie. Look, can I see you for a second? Well, sure. Come on over to the locker. Say, a bunch of us are getting up a big weenie roast. Yeah? From this Saturday. How about you coming? Bring a girl? Well, sure. That'd be swell. Yeah, Thanks right. a lot, Eddie. Thanks an awful lot. Hey, come on.